As we venture beyond the familiar planets of our solar system, the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud emerge as two of the most fascinating and mysterious regions. These distant zones are home to icy bodies, dwarf planets, and the origins of many comets. Yet, they remain shrouded in mystery. With NASA's New Horizons spacecraft providing groundbreaking data, new discoveries are reshaping our understanding of these regions and their role in the solar system's history. The Kuiper Belt is a vast, donut-shaped region of icy bodies that surrounds our solar system, beginning at the orbit of Neptune, about 30 astronomical units, AU, from the Sun. For reference, one astronomical unit is the average distance from Earth to the Sun, approximately 93 million miles. This region stretches outward to about 1,000 astronomical units, making it one of the most extensive structures in the solar system. The Kuiper Belt is home to a variety of icy objects, including dwarf planets like Pluto, Haumea, and Makemake. These objects are remnants from the early solar system, materials that never coalesced into planets due to the gravitational influence of larger worlds like Neptune. By studying these objects, scientists gain a glimpse into the conditions that existed during the solar system's formation. Interestingly, the Kuiper Belt has two distinct regions, this area is more densely populated and relatively stable, resembling the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter but on a much larger scale. Objects here, such as Pluto, tend to have well-defined orbits. Beyond the inner region, the scattered disk extends toward the edge of the solar system. It is a chaotic zone with erratic orbits that are still evolving. Objects here are less densely packed, and much about this region remains unknown. NASA's New Horizons spacecraft, famous for its historic flyby of Pluto in 2015, continues to explore the outer reaches of the solar system. During its journey beyond Pluto, New Horizons made a surprising discovery that challenges our understanding of the Kuiper Belt's size and structure. As the spacecraft traveled between 45 astronomical units and 55 astronomical units, it detected higher than expected levels of dust and Kuiper Belt objects, KBOs. This finding contradicts previous models predicting a significant drop in both dust density and object population in this region. The results suggest that the Kuiper Belt might extend farther than initially thought. Alternatively, there could be a second, previously unknown Kuiper Belt beyond the scattered disk. If confirmed, this discovery would reshape our understanding of the Kuiper Belt's structure and dynamics. While the Kuiper Belt marks the outer edge of the solar system's disk, the Oort cloud represents the spherical boundary of our solar system. This theoretical shell of icy bodies surrounds the solar system, beginning where the Kuiper Belt ends, at approximately 2,000 astronomical units from the Sun, and extending to about 100,000 astronomical units, or 1.5 light years. It resides far beyond the Sun's influence, in interstellar space. Unlike the Kuiper Belt, the Oort cloud is entirely theoretical, no objects within it have been directly observed. Scientists infer its existence from the behavior of long-period comets, which are thought to originate in this region. Long-period comets take more than 200 years to orbit the Sun, in contrast to short-period comets like Halley's Comet, which are believed to come from the Kuiper Belt. The Oort Cloud is thought to have formed from planetesimiles, small, icy bodies flung outward by the gravitational influence of the giant planets during the early solar system. These objects now reside at extreme distances, held in place by the gravitational pull of the Milky Way galaxy. The Kuiper Belt is believed to be one of the oldest surviving remnants of the solar nebula, the massive cloud of gas and dust from which the Sun and planets formed about 4.6 billion years ago. Initially, scientists theorized that the Kuiper Belt might have contained enough material to form a planet. However, the gravitational influence of Neptune prevented this from happening. Instead, these icy fragments were left to form a diffuse belt of debris. Some scientists propose that Neptune's migration outward from its original position scattered much of the Kuiper Belt's material into interstellar space, leaving behind only a fraction of the original mass. This migration caused a gravitational upheaval that flung smaller objects outward, creating the Kuiper Belt as we know it today. The Kuiper Belt also explains the peculiar orbital relationship between Pluto and Neptune. Pluto, a prominent Kuiper Belt object, is in a 3 to 2 resonance with Neptune, meaning that for every three orbits Neptune completes around the Sun, Pluto completes two. This resonance helps stabilize Pluto's orbit, 
preventing collisions with Neptune despite their overlapping paths. One of the most tantalizing mysteries surrounding the Kuiper Belt is the possibility of a hidden planet 9. Some scientists believe that the unusual orbits of certain Kuiper Belt objects could be influenced by the gravitational pull of a massive, unseen planet far beyond Neptune. If Planet 9 exists, it would be a game-changer for our understanding of the outer solar system. Advancements in technology, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and next-generation spacecraft, hold the promise of uncovering more about the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud. These explorations could reveal new insights into the formation of our solar system, the nature of interstellar space, and perhaps even the existence of Planet 9. The Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud are more than just distant regions of our solar system, they are frontiers of discovery. As we continue to explore these regions, we are not only learning about the history of our solar system but also paving the way for future interstellar exploration. The mysteries of the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud remind us of the vastness of the cosmos and the boundless potential of human curiosity. Please like share subscribe or comments. Thank you for watching my channel.